This tutorial shows how we can import data into Stata so that we can run an analysis on that data. We're going to be importing data from two different sources, one by copying and pasting it from an Excel spreadsheet and the second by importing it from a text file. Copying and pasting from Excel is very quick, very easy for small data sets. However, when using a larger data set, the insheet command, which loads data directly into Stata, can be far more efficient and time-saving. So we'll start by copying and pasting data into Stata first. So we have data displayed here in an Excel sheet, and what we can do is simply highlight that data and copy it. Once we've copied the data, we return to Stata and select the Data Editor tab in the toolbar. Selecting this opens a spreadsheet-like view in Stata and we can simply paste our data from Excel here. When we go to paste the data, we may get this text box appearing, asking us, is the first row of data a data set or variable name? So the first row of the data I'm importing contains the variable names. These were year, GDP, and investment share. So we select treat first row as variable names. We can then see that the variable names are brought in as headings, and the data starts from what was actually the second column or row in our data set in Excel. We close the data editor, and we see we now have our three variables in our variable window. We're told Stata now has three variables with 18 observations pasted into the data editor. So this is copying and pasting data into Stata. We'll now clear this data set by using the clear command, and we will use the insheet command to import the same data set from Microsoft from a text file. I've already designated my working directory as my memory stick, so the G drive and I'll use the insheet command to input the data saved as tutorial 2 in a text file on my memory stick. I use the insheet using command and then type the name of the data set. In this case it's just tutorial 2. And it's a text file. So I designate it .txt. I hit return and I can see that my data has been loaded into Stata. Again, I can view this if I go to the Data Editors tab and I can see that I have the exact same window. Year, GDP and investment have been loaded in. Again, we have the three variables with 18 observations. This is an alternative approach to using the copy and paste function and is far more efficient for larger data sets. That concludes this tutorial. Further tutorials are available on the SharePoint site.